Today we'll see 汉语舌位图。舌位图也叫元音图。First, let's see 舌位图 or 元音图。As we know, e, u, a are three cardinal vowels which can be found in all human languages. We see the three cardinal vowels in this vowel chart. But how to understand it? Well. To teach or to learn a foreign language, it's very important to know how to read phonetic symbols in a vowel chart. Let's see together. In this diagram, you can see the horizontal dimension and the vertical dimension. The horizontal dimension describes the front back vowels concerning front or back positions of the tongue. The phonetic term for the horizontal dimension is the vowel frontness or the vowel backness. How to understand it? When the tongue moves forward during the articulation of a vowel, we call it a front vowel. On the contrary, when the tongue moves backward during the articulation of a vowel, we call it a back vowel. For example, the vowel e. Is a front vowel. This is because when we produce this vowel, our tongue is positioned forward in the mouth. Whereas the vowel u is a back vowel. This is because when we produce this vowel, our tongue is positioned towards the back of the mouth. Well, the vertical dimension describes the high, low, or close to open vowels. It's about the vertical position of the tongue relative to the roof of the mouth or the degree of mouth opening during the articulation. The phonetic term for this vertical dimension is vowel height or vowel openness. How to understand it? Let's see together. When the tongue is positioned very high in the mouth, and the mouth is more closed during the articulation, we are producing high vowels or closed vowels, such as the vowel e and the vowel u. In contrast to the two high vowels e u, we should produce the vowel a with the tongue being positioned very low in the mouth, with the mouth. Wide open, so the vowel a is in the low or open vowel category. Now we will see 汉语舌位图 In this vowel chart, we use four degrees of vowel height: close, mi close, mi open, open. Three degrees of vowel frontness: front, central, back. I believe you still remember. Six Mandarin Chinese vowels: a, o, e, i, u, u. The six simple vowel finals: a, o, e, i, u, u, are the most fundamental elements and the first thing to learn for each Mandarin Chinese learner. In addition to six finals in alphabetical order, a, o, e. E O U will also present other four basic simple phonetic symbols. A A A, E E E, Z Z S, Z Z S. In this vowel chart, you may notice that E and E E and U. O and a share the same place of articulation. What's the difference? Let's start with e and e. For two high central unrounded vowel e, we should know that there are two unusual vowels in Mandarin Chinese. Phonologically, they are allophones to e. The linguistic term for this pair of vowels is the apical vowels in Mandarin Chinese. To produce this pair of apical vowels, how to move the tip of the tongue is particularly important. How to move the tip of the tongue is particularly important. The phonetic symbol e 
can only be found in the following three syllables: z, c, s. To produce the three syllables z, c, s, the most important thing to remember is that we modify air stream by keeping the tip of the tongue flat. The other apical vowel e can only be found in z, c, s. To produce the three syllables z, c, s, we must raise up or roll up the tip. Of the tongue, so as to squeeze out air from making z, z, s sounds. A bus fare of unusual Chinese apical vowels. There are two things that we should know. First, the two phonetic symbols for transcription of z, z, s and z, z, s. Are only used by Chinese phonologists. That's to say, they have not yet been accepted by the International Phonetic Alphabet. Second, for teaching methods, there are two scenarios. In China, they are taught as unusual apical vowels. But when Mandarin Chinese is taught as a foreign language, that means in a foreign country, they are taught as a silent e. Is to remember the description of the spread of apical vowels. They are high, central, and rounded vowels. Conventionally, vowels are arranged on a two-dimensional diagram. As we have seen before, the horizontal dimension and the vertical dimension. From the description of the two apical vowels in Mandarin Chinese, high, central, and rounded. We can see another important feature of vowels: rounding. Rounding. What does it mean? Actually, vowels can also be categorized according to whether our lips are rounded or not. Among the six Chinese Mandarin vowels, a, o, e, i, u, u, there are three rounded vowels, u, u, o, and three unrounded, i. Uh, ah. When phonetic symbols appear in pairs, that's to say, when they share the same point of articulation, how to indicate vowel roundness in a vowel chart? When phonetic symbols appear in pairs, the symbol to the left represents an unrounded vowel, while the symbol to the right represents a rounded one. Now you understand why u and e, o and e appear at the same points in this Mandarin Chinese vowel chart, because they have similar high-low front-back tongue positions. And now you know that the only difference between e and u is that e is an unrounded vowel, while u is a rounded one. And the difference between wo and e is that wo is a rounded vowel, while e is unrounded. Now let's see two unrounded vowels, e, 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 e. For e sound, first we should know that as a special vowel, e is an independent syllable. That's to say, it does not spell with any initial consonants. For example, e. Er, er. Second, er sound is also a phonological process in which er is added to other syllables. It's called rhoticization of syllable finals. Chinese term for this phonological process is er hua yin. Do you want to learn er hua yin Mandarin rhoticization? Maybe you do not know that Mandarin rhoticization er hua yin. Is only very common in North China. That means people from South China do not know how to pronounce rhoticized finals er sounds, even for those well-educated people. For example, I have some students from South China who had told me how hard it was for them to learn er sounds when they started their studies at a university in North China. Could you make er sounds with the previous two words, flower and play? Hua, 
花儿，花儿，玩，玩儿，玩儿。As far as a sound is concerned, a frequently asked question by native Chinese is why a sound is not included in the vowel table. First, a sound is only used for phonetic transcriptions of the word a. The word a can be used either as an interjection or as a kind of greetings between couples, but is Rarely used in normal times. Second, the simple vowel a、uh, without the circumflex is one of the mainly used vowels in Mandarin Chinese. A or a, i, u, u. So there is a computation between a sound and a sound. Which one should be included in the vowel table? The final decision is that a sound is included in the vowel table due to its higher absolute uses frequency. Well, a sound is excluded from the vowel table because of its lower uses frequency. Now you know in Mandarin Chinese there are ten simple vowels, and you know how to read them in the vowel chart.